So in this video, we're going to go through some real-world examples of Docker using Node.js and Python. So let's get started with the Node.js. All right, so let's go through this minimal Docker file for Node.js. We're going to start off with from Node. We're going to use the Alpine version here. The Alpine means that it just has the minimal things that it needs for Node to work. Next, we're going to run npm install HTTP server, and this is what we're going to use for serving up the static content from this image. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the working directory for application, for app. So then we're going to copy both the package JSON and the package lock JSON, if it's there, over to this image. Then once we have that in place, we're going to run npm install to install everything from the package JSON. And then after that, we're going to copy the project files and folders over to the current working directory. Now, you may wonder why we didn't just do this before and then run npm install, and the reason is because a Docker image is built in layers, and it will detect which layers have been changed, and it will only have to rebuild from that point on. So unless you change your package JSON file, everything will be cached and, and stay the same up until the point of copying the view project files again, if you're just changing your project files. So this will save you a lot of time on rebuilding your image, which is something that you probably will do quite a bit in development. And then finally, we're going to call npm run build, and this is going to take all the project files from view project, and it's going to use Vite in this circumstance, and it's going to build the web application in a folder called dist. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to expose port 8080, and this is how we're going to access it from localhost or from the IP address. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to run this command of HTTP server, and we're going to give it the dist argument. And this will start the HTTP server using the dist folder as the root. And that's all that you need for this Docker file. Now this is a very simple example. I'll make a video pretty soon that goes into a multi-stage build so that it can build your code in one image, use that image as the base for the next one. That way you only have your compiled code on your image. All right, so let's run this real quick and let's see this work. Okay, so let's switch over into a different example. Let's do this Python example. And so what we want to do here is we want to run this main pi file, and we want to just print hello docker. Now this can be anything for Python. You can add any other um, module to the requirements that you need. This is just a super simple example just to, so that you can see it work. Once we have our requirements file, which in this case is empty, and our main Python file, which is just going to print something out, let's start in this Docker file. For this, we're just going to use Python 3.8, and in this case, we're going to use the slim version, which is similar to the Alpine version, in that it only contains the minimal things that it needs to run. Next, we're going to set the working directory to slash app. Then we're going to copy the requirements file over into the container. Then we're going to run pip install so that we can install all of these dependencies. Then we're going to copy the rest of the application code over into the container. And then finally, we're going to run the Python command and we're going to give it main.py. And so now let's test this and see how it works. Well, I hope this video was helpful to give you some idea of how you can use Docker along with Node.js or Python to create some simple applications that you can run easily. Docker is great because you can run it anywhere on any system and it should just run the same. So let your imagination run wild and create something cool with this. Thanks for watching and check out some of my other videos.